Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for domestic health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800 <coughs> excuse me 800 950 NAMI 800 950 6264 and you can also text NAMI at 741741 with that being said please remember to like subscribe and share so today i want to talk about forgiveness and keeping the peace you know now that you may be out of this relationship this abusive relationship um I know the thoughts of the things that happened to you, whether it was physical or emotional, comes back to you, especially when you're alone and you think about how this person treated you and then you get into a stage of regret and resentment. So um, that will keep you blocked from forgiving this person and moving on with your life because believe it or not, once you leave this person, um, the pain that they uh created for you and the pain that they put on you, they no longer sit around uh, thinking about ways to hurt you anymore. They have moved on and they're most likely thinking about the next person. You know, they may do the stalking and they may come into your life to try to wreak havoc while you're trying to get out of it. But for the most part of it, they don't think about how um, they let you go and how you slipped through and got away because a person that's in that energy uh, of being abusive mentally or physical their thing uh, is they need help so they don't never let this go they continue to find someone that's uh, weak and someone that they can control but now that you're out of, of it you don't want to sit back in the resent the resentful stage you don't want to sit back hating this person and not being able to let go what happened to you and not being able to forgive them. So I'm not asking you to forget it, but I'm asking you to forgive this person. Uh, don't hold any resentment or harbor any grudge, grudges that you may want to place on this person. Give it to spirit and he'll work it out. Once you do that, uh, this is how you maintain keeping the peace, you know. You don't have to worry about uh, what this person has done to you because you've given it to spirit and he will handle it for you. You know, keeping the peace in your uh, home, in your mind, and just all around you. And once you keep this peace that's all around you, it will attract others to help you also with keeping the peace. Sometimes, you know, after a relationship, you have friends that you may have confided in and, um, they may be going through some things and they want to talk about what you went through and you know what they're going through and it's like a, a never-ending cycle you're just sitting on this boat uh, dealing with what you went through what they're going through and no one is trying to move forward to gain that peace so uh be aware that people see that you're moving on and that you're uh, getting off the boat of despair and regret and uh, hurt and unable to forgive once they see you getting off of that boat uh, people will start to uh, become mad with you people that you never are angry with you people that you never thought um, would feel a certain way towards you will show you the resentment because they see your growth and uh, when you have people in your life like that um, I can't speak for everyone but um, move away from that cut them off don't allow anyone to steal your peace I know I spoke about this in the video earlier um, in the past but this is important don't allow anyone to steal your peace don't allow anyone to make you feel bad for the decisions you made or the choices you made or how long you may have stayed don't allow anyone to keep pointing their finger at you. Um, this is a new day and things are going to happen as soon as you realize that you don't have to stay bound about what happened to you and you don't have to stay in that energy and just feel so lost and helpless. You're out of the abusive relationship. You have a new lease on life. 
So enjoy it to the fullest, fullest and don't allow anyone to steal your joy and don't allow anyone to make you feel um, ashamed for the moves that you have made or don't allow anyone to tell you that this could have happened so many years back. It happened when it was supposed to. Now that you're out, you're going to keep moving forward. And if you have children, you have shown them that no one has to take the abuse and how to uh, be in a normal relationships because your children are watching everything you do and they're, they're learning. They may not say anything, but they're learning to see how the person that they depend on is going to react in the situation. So pet yourself on the back, back and um, keep your head up and keep on moving because spirit has a lot of things in store for you. You just need to um, keep an open mind. Don't allow anyone to come in and put self doubt in your head. Uh, like I said, keep your head up and keep on moving. I will see you again tomorrow. If you know someone that's newly out of a relationship and they're trying to gain their peace and they're trying to forgive their abuser, please share this video and please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.